G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to The Walking Dead in 7 Days to Die, where I'm straddling the windowsill, staring at the sunrise, ready to take on another big mission. I need to go and see the trader today to try and get a mission from him that will hopefully give me some nice shiny loot, as always, but I also need to get out there to try and just get some amenities for my home, you know, some way to make my life here that little bit better. I need sand, I need stones, I need cobblestone as well which buying big stacks of cobble from trader potato absolutely top not way, top notch even way to get bulk of it very quickly also need some bellows to make my um my ammo forge cracking on and hopefully fingers crossed a better pickaxe there is the morning chime there is all my sellables I don't want to take all my tier 6 stuff just yet because I do want to save that for when I have the mods to go in them and get bulk dollary dues out of them. Uh, you're also going to need a couple of repair kits, actually, given that these guys here need to be repaired to get as much as possible out of them. Nice. In fact, what mods do I have that could potentially go... Oh, nothing, really. I'm really lacking on some mods. That's a bit of a shame because, yeah, chucking mods in tier 6 stuff, so good for making money. I suppose if push comes to shove, I can start putting some points into minus 69, which I kind of want to do anyway, because it's actually pretty helpful for everything. What are those, uh, what are those skill trees in strength? This is super useful, regardless of what, uh, kind of playthrough you're doing. That's why the strength tree is so ridiculously OP and necessary for everything. But if I start putting points into you, then I can just make myself a better pickaxe. I've got some steel tool parts around here somewhere. That I've now admitted. Oh, there we go. I've got so many still put still tool parts. Way more than I thought I had. An entire stack of them. So okay, if I had the ability to make a better pickaxe, I would. But I don't just yet. Today is one of those days where I'm just feeling confident. I'm feeling good for no discernible reason. I have no reason to feel like today is going to be a good day for me. Which means that something might go wrong. The game likes to take advantage of my overcompetence. Uh, not overcompetence. That is the furthest from the truth. My overconfidence and my complacency. So hopefully I can kind of pay attention for long enough to actually get through this unscathed. Hmm. Bit dicey. I might spend the morning. I'll jump on the bike. In fact, you know what? No. No, I'm going to pick up my bike and go for a trot. I need to go find some eggs, make some more bacon eggs. I'm running out of them. And pedaling around the countryside, I miss a whole bunch of bird's nests. Another egg you just there. I need to remember to break down the bird's nest once I'm done with it. I normally don't want to because I don't need feathers. I've got plenty of them. I don't need the plant fibers. I don't need wood or whatever it wants to give me out of it. I just want to get it off the deck so future Josh doesn't get excited by seeing the bloody thing. Yeah, nah, throw you away again. Any others around here? Also, the more astute of you may have noticed that my pickaxe at the moment is cooked. It is utterly cactus. More cactus than those big spiky things over there reaching up into the sky. Ooh, thank you very much. And that is because last night, I spent a good chunk of time breaking down some of the concrete in my base. I've now done the stairs. All I need to do now is pull out the frame that's supporting it underneath, which will take a second. And I've moved on to breaking down some of the walls in the cells to hopefully give myself some more breathing room. How are you doing, buddy boy? Let me just quickly sit you down. That was very loud, so let's get over to Trader Potato nice and quickly before everyone comes a running. Yeah, see, look at them. You fire around, they all come over and start investigating stuff, which is how it should be. I've talked about that before, that it should be that when you fire a big loud gun like this, like for like five minutes, this should be like, kind of like Feral Sense on, and zombies come over from everywhere. Come on, here you go. Not quite like screamer kind of stuff, but something in between. That's good. All right, just going to make sure that the zombies behind me are nice and dead. And I'm not bringing an entourage with me. Ooh, a cheeky better knife just hanging out in the car just outside trade. He's not sure how I haven't raided this before, but apparently I haven't. Scope you for the iron. Lovely doubly. Always happy getting a slightly higher tier of anything. <laughs> I mean, even though sometimes I get betrayed by that and it's not actually better at all. You have to just keep on expecting it to be, right? Open sesame. Thank you very much. Good to see you again, tradie boy. What have you got to offer me this time around? Hopefully something nice and Everything's good. Everything's for sale, even to an idiot like you. I mean, look, if you're going to proposition me, maybe saying everything for sale wasn't the right way to do it. Although you do look, look like you stood on your fair share of corners. Um, I've got my XP goggles on, so you have your secret stash ready and waiting. What have you got in here, though? I need, let's not forget, I need cobblestone. You've got 400 of them. I'll take those with me in a jiffy. 
Got some springs too. Mm, no, I'll buy the gunpowder. I will start buying... I'm pretty poor, actually. I should start buying as much ammo making material as I possibly can. Got a free forge. Got some cement. I've got plenty of that at home already. That's fine. Nothing else really catching my fancy at all. So that's good. That's good, though. If there were so many things I wanted to buy, I'd be upset. Only having a couple of things here and there that are worthwhile, that's fine with me. What about... Oh. Oh, I want you so bad. Six and a half thousand dollar redos for an auger and only a tier two at that. But I mean, the, the better ones are so much more expensive. Mini bike chassis. I need mini bike handlebars, if anything. And not really much more, is there? Okay. I reckon the auger is something we should try and push for. You don't for. buy something next time. I'll shoot you. Just get Bet. the fuck out of here. Well, if you're going to shoot me, I'll shoot you right back. What have you got in here? <gasps> Mini bike. No, they're four and a half grand. Mm, I need so much money. I need so much friggin' money. Damn it. Okay, well, I've got some sugar bites you're on me right now. Nerves, so let's friend. crack on you. I'll gobble down you and quickly sell all of this extra stuff I've got on me right now and see what we can manage. You... Get sold. I now have, actually, the cigar in me lips. So I'm getting a better deal than it was before. All of you. All of you. Oh, come on. We might be able to afford that auger. Mm, I'll save you for the moment. Do need to sell that one and that one. Four and a half grand. How much was the auger? Five and a half grand. Damn it. Ah, shit. Maybe I should... Maybe I should just buy the... Uh, what's the call it then? Even if it's to a yeah, I think so. Like I think so. Where were you? Mini bike handlebars. I'll buy you. I can't get the discount for having the XP gogs on, which sucks, but it's going to have to do. Buy that one. That's the last piece I need. Now I can start burning some pterodactyls. He's got some decent jobs on offer. I want to go as far east like as I can. You, but Downtown filler? Wow, sounds surprised. sounds real tempting. Sounds real fun. It's just next to me house, though. So that's actually not a bad idea. I'll do that in a moment. But I've got 10 minutes... Hmm, interesting. I've got 10... Good everyone. 10 minutes on the, um, better barter candy, but I am very poor. Do I try and push all the way out to Trader Bob that's a long way away? Or do I cut my losses just except I'm going to waste 9 minutes of it? Hmm... How long... How long does it take to craft a mini bike? Mini bike? A minute. Is a mini bike going to be significantly faster? Then the bicycle? Is it worthwhile me stopping off at the house, crafting up the- uh, Oh, go away, you bloody spring chicken. Crafting up a mini bike and trying to burn dinosaurs to get out to Bob? Yeah, okay. I'll risk it for that dinosaur biscuit. Let's see if we can save some time. We're sh shaving the clock. Let's do it. There's my battery. That should be everything I need out of you. Make sure I've got the right goggles on. Yes, I do. Mini bike. Wait, do I even... I do need to craft in the workbench. I was thinking maybe I could just craft you in my hands as I'm pedaling my bike around, but wasn't to be. Chuck you back down to there. That's while I'm here. Grab a repair kit. Repair you. Chuck you back away again and slap on the old ergo grip onto you. Oh, no. Nah, I'll chuck you onto the wrench instead. There we go. I use the wrench more often. That probably deserves it more. You guys can hold on to all of this. Just... Fuck it. Wherever you want to go, just go. I'll deal with you later. Don't really have the time to faff about with you right now. I'll, you can go back into there. So what do I need? I need a five and a half grand to buy the auger. And I've got a couple of days to do it. So I live in hope I can make some money nice and quickly. Oh, I'm, I'm hoping so. In fact, if worse comes to worst, I've got a good what? Like 700 there, 1400... Ah, uh, 1,500, and then, so about two grand. I've got two grand hanging out in my sellables box, just waiting for their moment to shine. Come on, come on. You're wasting all my time. My bloody sugar butts is ticking away. Please craft faster. There we go. Mini bike done. Grab you. I'll take the bicycle with me and just chuck it in the storage compartment, because I'm pretty sure the mini bike has, like, an extra couple of rungs of storage. So I'm pretty sure it does. Whip you down. Fuel you up with gas. Lovely. Grab you and chuck everything in the storage compartment. Yes, look at that. That alone is definitely worthwhile. Locking both of you. And there we go. We're finally motoring. Let's get all the way out to Trader Bob. See what he's got to offer us. Maybe a cheaper auger. I don't know. I don't mind. But I'm thirsty for it.
I just realized I forgot to buy the cobblestone from Wrecked a second ago. I said I was going to, then immediately got distracted by shiny things. Shock horror. That's never happened to me before. That's right, maybe Bobby Boy's got a thicker stack waiting for me. And I know I'm supposed to be saving my coins to buy myself the auger, but... I mean, the auger's like a luxury or horde base is a necessity. So if I had to pick and choose, I'd choose the cobble. I'm not entirely certain this is faster than the bicycle, to be perfectly honest. Like, yes, it's good for the stamina-wise and the storage-wise, but sheer speed? I'm not sure it's doing it. I'm still unsure if it did actually manage to save me any time, but we have managed to make it to Bob's regardless. Drop you off out the front, slink on in. I'm wearing the correct spectacles. What up, Jigglypuff? Howdy, Survivor. Hey, howdy, so Bobby boy. Go. Right, real quick, no time for a chinwag. Gotta see what you got going for me. Uh, mm, no. Some motorcycle stuff is starting to show up though, which is kind of fun. Should have bought the gunpowders. <sighs> Dang, it's it's so hard to know what the right option here is. I wish I was richer and you could just buy everything I wanted. Not the first time I've said that in my life, but either way. Ooh, we still a club, buy school, batter up, double storage pocket schematic. Very expensive. Oh, but it's a schematic too. Which means I could just make some more for myself. Mm, ooh, SMG5 schematic. You don't even have the book that lets you craft AP ammo either. Right. Right, right, right. Okay, let me quickly just change over. We've got two minutes to go. That's all right. Check your not-so-secret stash. What's in you? Anything more worthwhile? Mm, no and no. Thanks, anyways. All right. In that case, then, I will just buy uh, whatever powder you've got. Gunpowder? Yes, yeah, sure. Got any casings? No. Got any bullet tips? No. Bob? Welcome back. Listen, you're not exceptionally exciting, you know that? You're just a little bit of a, uh, the brandest, the blandest even, flavor of mayonnaise. Gotta head on back then. That was a bit of a waste of time, a bit of a waste of a trip. It's all right, if, you know, it's like Schrodinger's trainer, right? Though, you know, if I go out then, he won't have anything good. But if I don't go out there, he's gonna have bog stock cheap, like $40 redos for a tier six auger or something. Something out of this world amazing that I wish I had a had. I thought I saw a bird's nest there. No, my eyes are playing tricks on me. Never mind. There's a bird's nest over here, though. In fact, you know what? Here. Give me you and you. Let's slap down the old bicycle instead. Save the dinosaurs for later. Because you know what? It's easier to see the bird's nest on the way through. If we're not coming through. I was going to say at Mark 20, but it's not even that. And a slow crawl. It's been a long, hard slog, but I'm back into the city again. So I'm going to quickly swap on back on over to the mini bike. Actually, not a bad idea, though. I came out with, what, nine more eggs? And given that's kind of my entire sustenance right now, not a bad shout. A sacrifice by calves, or lack thereof, for some eggy sustenance. Okay, so we'll do the job. Go back to trading. I'm not going to pop another um, uh, sugar butts with him. I didn't actually check the vending machines for any more, which is kind of silly of me. But I'm not going to pop another one until I'm buying the auger and therefore all of the gunpowder and stuff as well. Because that's not going anywhere. That's fine. I'm just going to make sure I line up all of my ducks in a row. So one round. I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of applicable for this. One round, I'll penetrate all of them and go all the way through. Who are we? Sham uh, Shamway Foods? All right, that sounds good to me. I will actually tickle you from the start. Chuck a block down at the front so I know what I've done and get myself primed and ready to go. All right, let's do it. What have you got for me? Got to try and remember to take all like, yeah, there we go. All the empty glass jars and murky waters and stuff that I find because I, d oh, geez, easy. Calm your far, Marlene, you're okay. Get the old bloody meat hooks out of my face and just slow your roll a little bit. Yeah, I do need to keep all the glass jars I can find now because I did burn a lot of them making the glue. It's kind of annoying that you don't get the, the murky water or like the empty glass jars back again after making glue. It's just like a sacrifice you have to make. There's always something in the back of my mind. Oh, geez, someone's been here and had a real rough time of it. Always something in the back of my mind that it's it's burning a resource that I'd quite like to keep with me. Quickly slap on the XP goggles while these guys are, I say, charging me down, but trundling me down, walking me down, or power walking me down, really, just slowly making their way in my general direction. Take all of you, and something that I just kind of realized a second ago. Hang on a second, sounds like someone's, yeah, there we go, a little bit closer to the the beam. Go away, and Skomo also go away. Sit down and. Oh shit! Hang on, hang on, need that back. 
Why do I ever try and throw the bleeding thing? It never works out well for me. But something I noticed a second ago is that now, with that extra mod in my tier 6 shovel, it's two hits per block. Not quite the singular hit that you get at higher levels of um, uh, minor 69, but not too shabby either way. Are you just city spawn or are you part of a precursor to a horde? No, I think we're okay. Always got to keep an eye out. Never know when there's a whole sea of zombies beating down your front door. Up onto the second floor. So we're out of the Shamway shop now and the building's definitely seen some better days. I'm trying to go just as quickly as possible because it's almost 1 p.m. Hello? Anyone reading some naughty magazines? Nope, just a couple of pieces of paper. Don't know why they come as a club, but I don't really want the answer to the question either. Where are all the zombies though? This is a clear quest. I thought there'd be more of them around. It's pretty empty and there you are. Pretty empty and desolate. Oh, I see. I see. You just grabbed a couple of biddies and took them off to your secret bedroom. Oh, look at you. All tangled up in a big loving zombified mess. Oh, when you're that snug, although <laughs> maybe it's not snug because uh, look, stripper titties positioned just the way she wants to be. No judgment. That's the way up onto the roof. There should be... Okay, I was going to say there should be someone hiding out in that cupboard. Sometimes zombie closets just don't have any zombies in them at all. Nothing else. We'll quickly not take that Vegemite Sangam. Extra cooking pot. Extra food. I'm a little bit peckish, but I'm slurping down anything that's even mildly viscous at the moment. So some extra food won't do me any bad at all. Coffee pot, sneaky coffee, bonza mate, level up. And that point is going... To, mm, I was going to kind of say straight into this. That's probably the right call, but I kind of want to start getting into minus 69 as well. And it's going to be a while before I can speak into anything more in perception. So let's just, let's just, let's just do it. Let's just finish off heavy armor. So my movement penalty is basically zero. I can move around a little bit faster because breaking blocks is great. But if I die because I get stuck, it's not really going to help me at all, is it? Oh, Jeez, I've like cut your eyeball in half there, bud. Sorry about that. I'll take that back again. I'd say I was sorry, but a witch in a big pink dress once told me, well, someone, that I shall not tell any lies. No eggs in them. Right, what have you got to give me then? So there's a couple of shamway boxes and some ammo. Oh, also the zombie loot over here that I completely left behind. Whack on your loot and specs. Mm, I'm not thirsty at the moment, so I'll just take you with me. Scrap you for the lead. Check you for eggies. No, come on. Surely. Surely. How are there so many vultures around if no one's laying any eggs? Well, I can put two and two together and something doesn't add up here. I'll take you. Don't need the bloobs. I will take you and you. Medical supplies. Ugh, don't need blood bags. Probably don't need the steroids either, but I'll take them with me anyway. And last but not least, a spear hunter book I've already read. A double storage pocket mod. Not too bad, actually. You've got a doubler, you've got a doubler, you've got a tripler, and you've got a nunfa. Mm, I'll trade out you. There we go. And put in there. Okay. Good rearranging. I've got maximum capacity at the moment, though. All right. Well, job done. Let's get out of here and go back and see our old made potato tradie and see what he's going to give us for this. I still need to raid this church as well. It's been looming on the horizon for so bloody long, and I've been meaning to get out there and raid it for quite a while. Not my best. I mean, look, it shouldn't be surprising to anyone that I can't stay focused on the task that I've planned for myself for more than it takes to bat an eyelid or two. Do I have time to do it today? Hmm. I might be able to actually with a tier, whatever, a tier 5 steel spear, which is pretty bloody good, and a tier 5 lever action, you'd think I'd be looking pretty well for it. There's an egg, I will break you down so I don't get distracted by you again. Cheers, knackers, any other nests around? Does it, ooh, one just there actually, anything in you? Nope, been here before, so get ready, um. All right, Trady boy, I'm back again. What have you got for me? Yeah, nah, it doesn't have any sugar bites in his vendor, so don't feel bad about missing like it from before. Ooh, an iron crossbow. I mean, it is the Walking God. Dead, and everyone loved Daryl for a heckin' long time, so a crossbow might be applicable. Hmm, or I could take that, but I'm currently wearing scrap armor that's actually better than that one, so and it's not really worth that much money either. All right, you know what? I'll take the crossbow. 
Because I have the primitive bow, that's going to be better. I've been scrapping all my crossbow bolts on the trip though, so don't have anything the fire out of it just yet, but I'll cross that bridge the next time I come to it. Uh, you, what are you going to give me out of this one? I'm going to make you an offer. You the electronic store. Say it's been an honor to work no, I've been there before. But Never mind. No, I take it back. You can cancel that one, give me a different one instead. What's this one? Hey, Farm boy, seven. Somewhere else I've been before, but it's right next door. Yeah, I don't mm, I don't have the time to do the bloody the watch we call it the quest for uh, not the quest the the church today I'll do the church tomorrow. That might be a nice easy quick one plus I get extra bacon out of it Put everything in their appropriate boxes. Can I oh you're very yeah, okay Look, I'll save a frame and keep you for next time get some bacon and eggs on the craft in there chuck you back away Good. Okay, I've got a nice clean inventory to go and get cracking on that questy. What else do I need to do though? I did see actually. Yeah, I've got a. Do you work on? No, you don't work on the on the mini bike too. Those are a specific one. V. That's how you spell that. Vehicle mods. Vehicle mods. So I guess it's vehicle then. A lot of different options for me. Hmm. Okay. I can't make you. I can make the fuel saver mod. There's someone outside. I'll get out there in a second. It doesn't sound like a horde, though. You're pretty expensive, but it might be worthwhile. Yeah, all right. Let's have a squeeze. Can I get you cracking nice and early? Mechanical parts are there, and polymers should be just there. That's all that I needed for it. Reach all over my campfire and start making me... I just cannot spell today. Vehicle fuel saver mod. I think for the mini bike, that's the best call... You guys can go back away. Looking pretty good on the rest of this stuff. I'll actually keep you with me to try and save myself a couple of the time charges. I'm not peckish at all, actually, so that's all good to go. Mm, do I wait for the... Do I wait for you? Nah, it's going to take a minute and it's already half past four. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it with a big chandelier. Let's go do the church. We meant to do it for a week. Today's the day. Trying to stick with my good habits. So before I even go downstairs, I'll whack down the frame out the front. So I know I've been here before. I'll keep the XP gogs on for the moment. The loot of this place isn't really what I'm worried about. Oh, someone buried me. Fair enough. At least I got my uh, my castle to be purple. Yeah, the loot's not really what I'm concerned about. It's more just clearing the joint and getting up to the toppy tip. Why was my zoom being weird there? Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> I shot left, I shot right, and eventually I just gave up and put a round through his brain stem. Ooh, another tier 6 machine gun. Not too bad. Don't mind if I do. I mean, it might come in handy for Horde Knight. A rat hat is always a good time. But are there, like... Are there things under here? There are, but they've already been opened up. Although I feel like the caskets never really give you anything worthwhile. Mm, yeah, I might just skip them. Another tier 6 pipe machine gun. Okay, apparently... I don't know where this church is situated, but everyone's getting buried. And their last will and testament is requesting... <laughs> not even a good machine gun, just some sort of machine gun to be buried next to them. Jeez, I don't know if Tutankhamun had a machine gun for the afterlife, but now you guys need it too. Anything in you? No, no more machine guns around. I'm sure there's a couple. Just let me go a tinkering. Got my loot gogs on just for the lab equipment box at the end of all this. Painkillers are a good thing to have. The rest of that could all be left behind. But you know what? I'll take you and just scrap you. A couple of cloth fragments aren't a bad idea. And I'll actually take the candle with me. Because I've been trying to hide in the darkness for so long that my, uh, my jailhouse at the moment is actually really bleak and dreary. Not a lot of light source in there at all. So a couple of candles on the wall, not a bad idea. There's a smiley robot up there just smiling over me, watching over me like the guardian angel that I wish he was. Not sure if you're, uh, if you're Wanda or... Oh, what was the green fairy's name? I was going to say ScoMo, but that's not the one. But it sounds similar to that. What the fuck is going to annoy me now? What the shit was the other green fairy's name? Damn it me! Oh, and an extra damn it me as well. I forgot to repair my pickaxe before I headed out today. That's not your best move, Josh. Uh, hopefully I'll find some glue somewhere. Maybe some forged iron to whip up a cheeky repair kit on my... Cosmo! Cosmo and Wanda! Come on, me. Get it together. That's bang average form. But at least we kind of got there at the end of it. Hmm. Yeah, nah, I'm not proud of that one. Guess I'm gonna have to go binge Fairly Odd Parents again and reacquaint myself with most of my childhood. 
What is happening with my bow? I'm sorry. What the fuck was that? I'm pretty sure I saw the fletching explode right on your chinny chin chin. But you just, you just, yeah, nah, mate. Just, yeah, bloody nah. All right, fair whackers, knackers. I'll come down to you then. If you're gonna just cop an arrow to the chin and laugh it off, how about some bullets? That's a bit better. Who else is around? Sit you down, fix you up, and make sure you're not getting up ever again. You made me mad now. Now I'm out for vengeance. Just gonna continue on the path of destruction I've laid out for myself and get down here and murder was waiting for me. Nice and clean. Nice and clean. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Imagine being, that being your last moment. You're primed, you're ready to go. Then you trip over a curtain and just lie there while I line you up and depart you from this world violently. Oh, for goodness sake, Loza, can I see anything of you? You make this rather difficult. There you go. There you go. Stand up for me. Look, as much as I love you on your knees, this isn't the time for it, Loza. There we go. Make sure we check all the bookcases on the way through. Don't have high hopes for it, but I'd be remiss if I didn't at least have a squiz around. Just a couple of sleeves of paper. Seems to be... Ooh, here we go. Meld the shadows and sneak 5% better at night. That would be handy to keep myself nice and safe at the night time. Uh, you're only worth 50 bucks, so I'll just read you now. You're worth 120, so I'll take you with me. Yeah, I'm not cold for the finding anything good down here because the church hasn't given me anything good for a very long time. Scrap you for the iron. What about you? Mm, I can sell you. I can sell you. The schematics are worth more than books are. Another one in the Robin Hood fantasy. That's fine. And that's it. That's all she wrote for all of the books. Make sure we grab the um the hidden stash on the way through, though. Leave nothing behind and wish for nothing later. What have you got? What have you got? Oh, damn it. That's disappointing. Ooh, more Jewoodle Purple Dye. And in fact, BDO Bottoms, which are better than my current. All right, lovely doubly. Quickly stitch in a couple of pockets in here to get your Karen all sorts of goodies. Modify in, swap your back, and scrap you. Nice. All right. Apparently, someone was buried with a dapper amount of style. I appreciate that. I'm not sure to appreciate me robbing his guts, but you know what? If you get buried in something that cool, it's going to happen. Still no sign of any glue, which is a bit unfortunate. Grab the candle on the way through. Uh, this... Mm, I don't know to... Oh, good night. I don't want a torch because it raises the heat too much, but... So satisfying. There's enough bass in the sound effect of the, the lever action that really just tickles me ever so slightly when uh when I fire it. Oh, I was expecting someone to be hanging out around that corner, but no, I guess not. Oh, I see up. Sky mode. Nice. And your little tart as well. Hope you don't go drowning out into a lake and start distributing swords. Because I hear that's how you choose your governments. No one else around. The lever action's fun. I'm starting to fall in love with it, and it's always dangerous. We're making good time, but the crickets are starting to chirp. I would love to know, like, how quiet this can be if it did have a suppressor on it. I feel like I do a pretty good job. It might still wake up a couple of them. Shit. Shit. Every now and again. But for the most part, I feel like I do a real good job of clattering everyone with very little risk to myself. He's dead. Although, at the moment, I'm not having a whole lot of luck actually... Can I, bud? Actually hitting my shots. No. Better. <laughs> the swan dive from on high. Look, if there's high levels of headshot damage, falling four stories and compressing your spine into the size of a nickel, I'm pretty sure that should do a number on you. We've made it to the atrium or the... Auditorium? I, I, don't, I don't know. The chapel? I don't know what you would call this place. I made it to this big vaulted ceiling joint. Normally, I would go about this with uh, with my bow and try and be as stealthy quiet as possible. Although, apparently, it doesn't mean shit when they wake up immediately. So, never mind then. Here. How about this? Can I just go like that? Wake everybody up and get them coming up to me. Because if I've got the rifle and I've got the sights... Surely that's the better way to go about it. There you are. Just... Oh, you're gaping your gob for it and I bloody delivered. Who's next? Some of the same. Deja vu. Easy. 
Yeah, look, look, when you got a rifle like this, you take advantage of the situation and just have a bit of fun. Don't think anyone's left, which is probably fair enough given how much noise I was making up there. I will just charge around. It feels weird having a lever action out, like a rifle out as my close quarters weapon. That's kind of why I had the, ooh, another book to sell, thank you. Kind of why I had the pistol, but having a backup is always a good idea regardless of what's going on. No one in here. No, and there's no loot either. I've got an hour to go before like the proper night time. So we'll make as quick progress as we can. Don't want to get caught out at night. I'll be fine though. Be fine. What's the worst that happened? A horde shows up? Just an XP farm with a rifle to boot. I was going to try and pick my way in, but it takes one charge, I think, to get into a wall safe. It's kind of what it should be for everything other than the most hardest ones, which should be, I suppose, two on those bigger ones. But that's just my dream for later. 10% more damage to save spot. It's going to help me in the long run. So thank you. You're worth some money. So I'll take you with me as well. What else is around? Nothing. This library is always so disappointed. There's never anything in it. But now it's just a couple of vultures and then the loot upstairs. And we're done. I was, I was right. I was, a couple of times I've been tempted to raid this place at 6 p.m. Not enough time for that. But at 4 p.m., only just enough. Oh, I forgot. I, oh, shit. I forgot that I have to get headshots on the birds. And stealth shot of them is actually rather difficult. Mate, probably should have paid more attention to where I was aiming with it. Can you come down here, please? Oh, I thought there was another one coming. In fact, there's probably... There's usually three, I think. Mmm, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Can you please... All right, stop going down to repent for your sins. I know there's a lot of them, but I would be up here to send you to the other realm if you're just given the opportunity to. Can't believe I bloody forgot about headshots only, Josh. It's the whole thing. It's the whole crux of this playthrough. Maybe pay some more attention. You'd be much better off. All right, look, it sounds close, but I'm not sure exactly where he is. And the sun is setting and the weather's turning. So let's just... We have 13 lockpicks. I know it takes like six bloody time charges to get into this bloody thing. So I'll just break my lockpicks instead. What are you doing, you great binchook? I can't even bloody see... Oh, hey, bud. Missed you. Oh, missed you again because I got stuck up on the windowsill. Say that. Say that. Oh, for goodness sake, hit the blinder. Thank you. That was dog shit, Josh. And you bloody know it. Strap together your forearms. Not that they're doing anything for you anyway. Okay, let's hope we get into this and get back home. Night's about to turn. But that's fine. I'm up in the sky. There we go. Zeros across the board. Let's open up these before we get too distracted. We've got cracker book, electronics. Uh, yeah, there's the weapons bag. Loots through the ceiling and a popping pills. That's fine. This should be good. Hopefully, anyway. Nighttime sound has gone. I've got a little bit of space on me. Not a lot, though. I'll actually turn... Oh, I do need wood for building, though. Mm, I'll just see how we go. Bookstore box first. I can sell you in a batter. Power attacks to the legs slow enemies. Doesn't really apply to spears because spears have the worst power attack in the game that you throw the bloody thing and probably lose it. But I'll take it anyway. Timer relay schematic. I'll read you. Probably could have sold you, but I'd like to build some later on if I get the chance to. Nothing really fun in you. Nothing really fun in you. And rocket launcher parts, which actually is explosives. And it is kind of the skill tree I'm going for. So, okay, I'll take you. And that's everything. Last but not least, though... Treasure maps, more splody charges, dollary doos, and a Terry the Turret. Well, you're kind of worth it at a tier one, but I'll scrap you for the parts. Another Bando mod, which I can put in some armor and make some money with. I might actually just quickly read you straight away and see where you're going to send me. Raphael, what you got for me? 500 meters away. Oh, right smack dab in the middle of the road. You dick, Raphael. I've got plenty of bones back home, so I'll take the dollars with me instead. It's now night time, so I can't be cucumbered. All right, well, let's get out of here then. Oh, almost forgot. Still no bong, but bong, I'll give it to you anyway. Up and over and out we go. My bike's over that side. A bit of a hike, but that's fine. Let's get home, get sorted, and just appreciate the fact we're still around. It's a oh my God. I was going to say, there's a couple of zombies in my way and the big glowing tit of a demo 
came glistening out of the darkness. Always gonna just start pumping rounds into these sorry swords and just be done with it, but if old Mother Batania is down there, ready to fuck me up, I don't really want to. Let's try this. Come on, with stealth damage. Easy. That was square in the chops, but he's getting up again. Try again. Nope, he's still going down like the sack of shit he is, though. This is where I really wish. Ah, oh, get fucked on! Didn't drop me any loot, but he didn't take the bloody building block with him either. Oh, man. This is where I wish I had AP rounds aplenty so I could just drop those bastards whenever everybody showed up. Goddamn random city spawn demos. Nightmare material in every way you can imagine. Good God. Actually, this thing. This thing might become... Oh, it's gone now. What was the thing it gives me? Not you. Uh, dead eye. Successive kills increases damage bonus by 20, 30 to a maximum of 40%. So maybe actually... What would have been the better way to do that then? Would it have been to like kill the zombies that were close by, then use like the egg, the damage buff on the demo? Or oh, was a uh, the jacker lantern just here? I'll take you with me as well. No, I won't, because I'm chock a block. Ah, uh, what can I get rid of then? Got to land a lot of random garbage on me. That's not really helpful in any way. Mm. <laughs> Everything's kind of useful though. One murky water, go away. Although actually, in fact, hang on a second. Yeah, let's just chuck a whole bunch of shit into you. Don't have to leave anything behind. I've got the mini bike for storage now. Just chuck everything away that I can for now. I'll deal with like the lights and stuff in a moment. You can get sold, in you go. Stones and stuff go over here. I need to get rid of those railings so I'm not just like hopping over them all the time and causing myself a dilemma. In all you go. Nice. Let's get the rest of the stuff out of the mini bike then. Good. That was a good day. I feel like that was actually very successful for all the things I wanted to do. Take all of you and chuck you away as well. Still need to go and buy the stuff from Trader Potato, like the gunpowder and cobble and stuff, but I can do that in the morning. Got $2,000 redos. I can punch out the job next door before 6 a.m. when, when uh, Trady wakes up. At least I hope I can. I've only got a little bit of time left, though, before I have to go buy it. Otherwise, I'll miss my opportunity. Before I forget, I'll grab that vehicle fuel saver mod and go and whack that my mini bike right away, because otherwise, I will generally just forget it even exists. You open, chuck you in. Nice. You're already halfway through your dinosaur juice as well, which is not especially great, but I'll fill you up in the morning. There's actually no reason in the world to close those things behind me. Just kind of a force of habit. Nice. So it's now after midnight. I need to get this built. So day 21 is the next Blood Moon Horde. I can't find another Horde in the town. We saw how that went, and it went horrendously. And I need to start focusing on getting some, like, AP ammo at the very least. There's still actually the firing range down here that I haven't gone to yet. And Raphael's treasure. And he might have lots of dollar dues to buy the Augur. Okay. Change of plan for tomorrow. First thing in the morning, I'm heading straight down here to dig up Raphael's treasure map. I'm also going to do the raid at the back of the, um, of the Shotgun Messiah. Then we can head back up, do the tier 2 clear here with all my gubs to sell to Trady. Do all that, and that should be enough to buy the Augur. Plus all the cobblestone, plus all the ammo making materials, and get pumped on that. And then I think we'll spend the afternoon, as much time as I can afford, building the horde base. I should by then have enough stuff to do that, because I got I can't delay anymore. I gotta get that kraken sooner. Well, not even later, just sooner. Gotta have it, gotta have it done. So I'll do all of that in the next episode, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page of the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you would like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.